All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just hope that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, he protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better day by day, and I pray that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that whatever situation you're in, he will clear it up and turn it around for you. His outstretched arm, his mighty hand, he will exalt you in due time, and when you humble yourself before him and you submit yourself to God. All right. You stay on that narrow path. You fight the good fight of faith. You trust in him. All right. Bless the person that trusts in the Lord. All right. All right. Be patient as well. All right. Endure those things and count it all joy. All right. These times that we're going through, these those harsh moments, they're all temporary. All right. They're not at forever. So, you know, weather that storm. Amen. And if you're having joy, you know, giving praise, shout, rejoice, sing a song, dance, clap your hands. So, so, you know, everybody's going through a different season. But all in all, we are all striving towards the Lord and well, how the Lord wants us to be from now on. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Let us thank God for another day. Let us thank God for, clo- for clothes on our back. Let us thank God for food in our belly. Let us thank God for protection and safety and waking us up. Amen. God, I appreciate everything nowadays. All right. Yes, yes, y'all. Greetings, family. Shalom, body of Christ. Welcome, everybody. What's up? What's going on with you all? Hope all is well with you all, man. Sis, whoever's listening, I just pray that everything just gets better for you, all right? We really have to uplift one another and encourage one another in these times. You know, we really have to. All right, all right. Yes, yes, y'all. Let us thank God for just everything, man. You know, just stop what you're doing and just reflect on what he brought you through and just thank him. Amen. Just thank him, thank him, thank him. All right. His mercy does endure forever. It truly does. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Welcome, everybody. All tribes, all nations, all peoples, all tongues, all four corners of the earth, all races, all faces, whether you're a Gentile or Israelite, whether you are chosen or adopted, it is all right. Let us gather and praise the Lord forever. Amen. Let us always fellowship and hold hands and pray. And really, God, with you know, just pour out our hearts towards the Lord. Amen. Cry out to him. Amen. And rejoice and praise and dance for him as well. All right. Yes, yes, y'all. Let us love the Lord our God for all of our mind, heart, and soul. Let us love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Let us know the Lord better and let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, the law, and commandments. And let's just keep spreading the gospel, keep spreading his word, keep walking in and being effective doers of the word as well. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. All right, so today's message, I'm going to just go through this news roundup, this news tabloid, just go through every news um, tabloid that there is, any news headlines going on in America, outside of America, economy news, politics, sports, entertainment, science news, business news, tech news, whatever, news is news, all right, but the best news ever is the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ, amen, the good tidings, the good word that the prophets have been pre- prophesizing and the word that Christ gave us. That's the best good news we could ever listen. Amen. God's word will never fade away. It'll never pass away. All right. So that's the good news that we should always be adhering to. All right. But this current physical news, just the stuff that goes on event wise, uh, we got to be aware of it as well. All right. We can't be too righteous or too wise. We can't be holy, too holy than thou. You know what I mean? We got to be able to not be so heavenly minded. We're no earthly good. We have to you know, be grounded about things and be compassionate and have a heart for things going on. You know, so much going on all four corners of the earth, so much going on in the world. So we have to truly be aware and alert about other people and their situations. Amen. <clears throat> yes, yes, y'all. So we're going to just go through this news tabloid for this week. And then we'll just end it with a priestly blessing. Close out, give all the glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise the only begotten Son who died for our sins. And then we'll close out with prayer. All right. So. Let us go through these news tabloids. Biden to address debt agreement from Oval Office Friday evening. 10 states sue FEMA over flood insurance rate hike. Mm. Here's who would have to work for government benefits and who wouldn't under the debt ceiling package. So many people's benefits are being affected, whether it's food stamps or Medicare or um, Social Security, all those different things. So uh, everybody has a different situation in America. Everybody's living um, circumstances are a bit different. So let us pray for others in their situations, all right? In their housing situation, their food situation, what have you. All right, let's see what we have here. Even the biggest winners of Navita's stock spike are cutting back as artificial intelligence hype goes into overdrive. Ain't that something? Let's see what we have going on here. European Space Agency hosts first Mars live stream. 
Mm. How Chick-fil-A became a target for going woke. Mm. Trump attorneys have in a federal classified document a former president referred to a tape following a subpoena. Teens tried to stop Cameron Robbins before he jumped off Bahamas cruise passengers, parents says. Well, I saw that video on Twitter. You know, dude just jumped off the cruise ship. I mean, man, that's crazy to just jump off in the middle of the ocean like that. But hey, we in the last days, man, people going to really not be in their right mind out here, you know. Lawmakers sound off on target woke controversy, obsession with focusing on children. As we all know about all this um, stuff going on. You know, let's see what we have here. How DNA identified Australian family man as an escaped U.S. fugitive who murdered his parents. Wow. Pants cleared and classified documents investigation, DOJ says. All right, let's see. Good Samaritan describes rescuing five after Bahamas plane crash. Amen. That's a blessing right there. Shouts to the Good Samaritans, man. All four corners of the earth. You helpful people. You helpful strangers. You angels. Thank you all so much. Thank you all for still saving people and rescuing people, man. For real. How de- how detectives solved the brutal murder of Scott Sessions, Heather Frank. Let's see what we have here. Senate passes GOP-led resolution to block Biden's student loan relief plan. Let's see. The U.S. added 339,000 jobs in May. It's a stunningly strong number. With unemployment, let's see what we have here. Ukraine battles sky-high expectations ahead of counteroffense. All right, Chinese-Americans fight back against bans on buying property. Hmm, ain't that some? Let's see what we have here. U.S. Air Force says it did not run simulation in which artificial intelligence drone killed its operator. Wow. We are not defaulting. Five takeaways on debt ceiling votes in House, Senate, and spending fight. Let's see. Home Depot is selling modern prefab tiny houses for under $50,000. Here's the catch. Islamist terrorist plot team will serve at least six years. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Casey DeSantis emerges as pivotal figure on 2024 campaign trail. Explainer, why are wildfires raging in Canada's eastern Nova Scotia province? Hmm. Let's see a visual guide to deforestation in Brazil's Amazon rainforest. The multinational companies that industrialized the Amazon rainforest. Wow, look at that. More than 800 million Amazon trees failed in six years to meet beef demand. Wow, this is crazy. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 800 million trees. That's crazy. They're just tearing up God's creation. Mm. Cinema and Machines cover debt deal operation. Trump DeSantis feud gets ugly fast. We want total war inside the Republican rebound in New York. Rescuers at site of Iowa building collapse. Complete search for survivors. Move on to recovery. Let's see. New details of Jeffrey Epstein's death and the frantic aftermath revealed in records obtained by AP. Mm. That Jeffrey Epstein thing, that island stuff, boy, that's a deep rabbit hole that nobody's comfortable with going down. The stuff that be going on over there, man, with them celebrities, and them socialites and them high elite people. Mm-mm-mm. It's very wickedness right there. But all that goes back to ancient Molich, ancient Baal, um, all the... Dionysus worship, all that different stuff. That's what it boils back to. Nothing is under the sun. Let's see what we have here. Newly discovered stone tools dragged down of Greek archaeology back by a quarter million years. Hmm. All right, let's see what we have here. Marriage collapse, absent fathers unraveling Christianity and growing U.S. crisis. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. It says that a release study of churchgoers that suggest a collapse in marriage and resident fatherhood is fueling widespread loneliness and the unraveling of Christianity. Mm. Ain't that something? People are straying away from the church. People are straying away from God and fellowship. People are straying away from households and family structures. And God built a lot of foundations off of marriage, household, family structures. So when people stray away from it, only bad things happen out of it. It leads to loneliness. Let's see what we have here. Real estate woes continue as only 21% of Americans say now is a good time to buy a house. 
South Korean lawmaker says they estimate Kim Jong-un is over 300 pounds and has a severe sleeping disorder. Um, let's see. China is digging a 10,000 meter hole into the earth to reach the Cretaceous system. The Cretaceous system. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. I'm a millennial CEO who hired G- generational Zers. I was shocked by their desire for feedback and the help their social media knowledge brings. Giant grocery chain fighting to keep stores open as theft violence has increased exp- exp- expansionally at a high level. The grocery chain, huh? Hmm. Giant food. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Cost of living benefit debt pushing people into crisis as they struggle to afford food. The government warned. Let's see what we have here. A study finds banned potentially cancerous chemical in 88% of household items. Any parent would shudder at the thought. Let's see. In China and the U.S., Generation Z, Generation Z doesn't want low-paying jobs, stagnant wages, and stigma around blue-collar work keeps them jobless. Mortgages, mortgages, mortgage rates jump again while housing market cools. Does that mean the economy is recovering or getting worse? What comes after Putin's rule in Russia? The West should beware. Florida new grocery allowance everyone on Medicare can apply for. Fatal attack on Home Depot worker. Russia using billion dollars for the other agendas. Tropical disturbance in the Gulf Coast, tropical storm in this hurricane season. So, hey, man, we some southern people. You know how them hurricanes be on the south and the Atlantic coast, man. Hurricane season. Let's see. FBI warns all Android, iPhone, Gmail, Outlook users over fast love message that takes everything deleted now. Mm, Let's see. Let's see. Nikki Haley warns U.S. could end up with President Harris if Biden reelected after the latest trip and fall. Oh, boy, politics and the sarcasm and the jokes, all right? Let's see what we have here. The public wants certainty. Why have Americans stopped trusting in science? Elon Musk told Chinese Tesla workers in a late night speech that their hard work warms my heart. Six weeks after, some complain about bonus cuts. Let's see what we have here. All right, all right. So there you have it, y'all. That's the news roundup for this week. Just want to go through a few tabloids and just be alert and aware of everything going on in the world. All right, let us pray for one another. Let us stay strong in what we're enduring, all right? Yes, yes, y'all. What I love to do is I close out, give all the glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. All right, y'all. So here we go. Hallelujah. Amen. He is the hope for humanity. He is the Adam, the advocate, the last Adam, the second Adam, the almighty, true and living God, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler. The, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, firstborn of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord. God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, the king of Israel, he is the king of kings, amen, he is the king of kings and lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone. Yes, yes, he is the living stone. The Lord, the Lord is my rock. The Lord is my shield. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my fortress. The Lord is my high tower. The Lord is my deliverer. The Lord is my redeemer. The Lord is my banner. My banner. He, the Lord is my salvation. All right. It says the Lord is our right, the Lord our righteousness, the Lord Yah, Yahweh Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, Yahai Yesha, Yeshua Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom Shalom, Yeshua Elohim, Yehosha, Ahai Yeshaya, 
Yes, yes, y'all. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of mercies, the father of widows. Yes, yes, he is the name above all names. All right. He is the great shepherd. Yes, he definitely is. Yes, y'all. He is the sufficient one. He is a sustainer. Yes, yes. Amen. He is the great physician, can heal all things. He is the only one, that the one that, that can do it all. All right. Nothing's too hard for the Lord. He can heal it all. He is the great physician. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace. The prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrector, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, the son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the build is rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. He is the way. Amen. He is the way, truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of Yahawashai, the word of Yehosha. Yes, the word of the consuming fire. He is the word of life. Amen. He is the word. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. We serve an awesome creator and the son is amazing for dying for our sins. Yes, yes, y'all. Boast in the Lord. Amen. Boast in the Lord. His son is just way too awesome. Yes, he is the seed of Abraham promise, the seed of Adam humanity, the seed of David kingship, seed of God deity, seed of Jacob nationality, seed of Judah tribe, seed of Shem race, seed of woman prophecy. We touch and agree in the authority and name of Jesus Christ. You are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, delivered, forgiven, embraced, favor, grace, mercy, steadfast, stability, firm, alert, wise, wisdom, understanding, knowledge. Love, joy, grace, peace, merry hearted, blessed, anointed. Yes, all of that in the son's name. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. New mind, new heart, new soul, new eyes, new dreams, new visions, new tongue, new languages. New hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new scenery, new journey, new open doors, new opportunities, new resources, new miracles, new wonders, new signs, everything new. The former things pass away. The Lord is doing a new thing. Amen. Yes. Amen, y'all. So there you have it. That is the news roundup for today. That's the word for today, man. I just pray to God that whoever's listening to this message, I pray that you repent and get baptized, start your life over for the most high. I pray that your life turns around for the better and that you just keep walking in God's power and his light as you could do his father's business and father's will for the rest of your life until his son comes back. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So what I love to do, so close out, is give y'all this priestly blessing on the way out. All right. So here we go. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.